My name's Sally Jones. I'm 39 years old and I am in the dairy industry. I grew up on a dairy farm in Lakes Entrance. I've got really fond, vivid memories of growing up here as a little girl. And I think I was probably about seven or eight. I remember this one day where we had this dog and the dog was on the back of the ute and my dad was standing there and I think mum just took this picture of us as little girls um, with dad. Certainly being the eldest of four kids is sometimes you're a bit of a special dad's little girl and um, yes yeah, so I had a really close bond with my dad. It, tragically in 2016 he did take his life. When he walked into my kitchen, which was about six years ago now, he walked in and, and he started crying and telling me about a situation that he was in. It was very unlike him. And I guess that was the first time that, you know, the, the, the warning signs came up to say that he's actually having a breakdown, even though I didn't know what a mental health breakdown was at the time. And that was the beginning of our journey. So we journeyed with Dad for three years, um, trying to help him through that really, really dark time. And it really was walking through a big, deep, dark valley. And I remember exactly where I was on the farm. It was pretty much in this exact spot when the phone call came through that they had found his body. And nothing prepares you for that phone call or for that information. I'd never been affected by grief or tragedy like that before and it, I probably can only define it and explain it like a knife in your chest where you actually can't breathe. I remember just sort of, you know, collapsing in that moment of just the world had stopped. Out of this adversity, um, I had this absolute desire to want to create some positivity out of my loss and my tragedy, and Gippsland Jersey was birthed. When starting a business, it was, um, if we, we didn't know how to do something, we simply Googled. Thank goodness for Google. And I think certainly, um, as you get dig deeper and deeper, things don't change a lot. And I remember ringing um, these people that knew my dad and and automatically you know you have that rapport and that respect because my dad was such a pioneer in the dairy industry and, and I guess that has given some credibility to be able for us to make things happen. The dairy industry really is very male dominated and I remember attending a meeting in the early days with a head of a dairy company and on entry to the boardroom, he asked if I'd like a coffee. And I replied, I would absolutely love a coffee. And he said to me, well, you're a woman, there's the kitchen, and make me one while you're at it. So currently we are right now in the process of setting up our own milk factory to process the milk. And really exciting for me is that we get to do that in the factory that my dad and my mom and my family built back in the 80s. And so the factory is getting a little bit of a renovation and, and we're excited to um, be able to value add. The thing that I guess sets Gippsland Jersey apart from any other milk is that yes, it's premium Jersey milk which is full of um, nutritional benefits. But the second one is around our social corporate responsibility and how we do things and how we believe that farmers must be paid a fair price for their milk. We have a commitment to wanting to create social change in rural mental health and suicide prevention. And the third one's kindness. Mental health takes up a lot of um, my time in Gippsland, Jersey, and obviously it's such a big issue, it's rough everywhere. And I think exposing my own children to the realities of what it is to have, you know, being mentally unwell um, 
gives them, I guess, hopefully a compassion towards people and humanity. Mental health is real. It's just the same as a physical illness. I'd love to see my children grow up and um, truly understand that gender stereotype doesn't exist. I think that if they can understand the role of women and, and how they can play a role in agriculture, hopefully it will inspire them. And you know, I've got a I've got a daughter who's seven years old, and maybe she might be a farmer one day, um, and she'll be she'll be confident in that role. I know there's uh, lots of young women living on farms, and hopefully they'll be inspired by seeing our story roll out. For me, I hope to mentor other women and for them to gain confidence and to go out and do big, amazing things. That's what we need and that's what excites me and bring on more stories about amazing women that are, that are contributing. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear 